Hi, Megan. Hi, Chris. This morning, Russia launched another rocket attack on Ukraine's second largest city, and the results were devastating. Russian missiles struck the center square in the city of Kharkiv. Let me show you some pictures. This is known as Freedom Square. People there saw a huge explosion in front of the city's main administrative building. There was a fireball, cars were engulfed by flames, an apartment building, an opera house, and a theater were destroyed. At least seven people were killed, another 24 hurt. The Russians attacked at 8 a.m., just two hours. Hours after the city's curfew was lifted. It was the second straight day of Russian missile strikes on residential areas of the city. Yesterday, the target was another apartment complex. Ukraine's president, Volodymyr Zelensky, called these attacks frank, undisguised terror and a war crime. He said, nobody will forgive, nobody will forget. This is state terrorism by Russia. He spoke this morning to the European Union. We are fighting just for our land and for our freedom, despite the fact that all large cities of our country are now blocked. Nobody is going to break us. We are strong. We are Ukrainians. Zelensky got a standing ovation. His country is managing to hold back the Russian assault. But who knows for how long? Russian troops have pretty much surrounded the capital of Kyiv to cut off the supply of weapons and ammunition from Western Europe. And according to British officials, the Russians are using more heavy artillery north of the city in densely populated urban areas, increasing the risk of civilian casualties. Satellite photos show a Russian military convoy just north of Kyiv waiting to enter the city. It is 40 miles long. But the Ukrainians are fighting back, and sometimes with success. Yes! Yes, блядь! Два! Два! Ukrainian soldiers shot down a Russian helicopter trying to fly across a river as it was heading towards Kyiv. And all those Molotov cocktails the Ukrainians have been making, well, they are using them, as you can see in this video, where somebody in a passing car throws one at a Russian tank. And finally, the Ukrainians are even sharing videos on TikTok that are tutorials on how to start up an abandoned or captured Russian tank. If you get a free BTR, then keep your lifehack. We take a mass of generators. Теперь втыкаем обогатитель. Опа. Следующий у нас стартер. Все, завелся. Предохранители. Раз, два, три, четыре. А теперь фары и обдув стекла. Нажимаем сцепление. О -о -о. И включаем первую скорость. That's something you don't usually see on TikTok. Russia has been uh, hit hard by economic sanctions imposed by Europe and the U.S. More on the effect that is having coming up next hour. Chris and Megan.